In today's tutorial, we will be working on the Purse Pal by Lynn's Handmade. It is a raw edge project. Um, I have not edge coated mine, however you can, or you can just seal it with some glue or you can leave it just as it is. Um, it features one zippered pocket for coins. In ours, I will show you how I lined it with heat transfer vinyl. And then on the other side, there is a slip pocket as well as six card slots. And it is all held together with a snap tab. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you do, please give it a like and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I will be working on is my snap tab. So I have one cut out to the right size with the hole punched and another, I just have another piece that this will fit on. I'm going to install my snap right on this tab um, so I'll do that first. Depending on the kind of snaps you're using, you'll want to follow the manufacturer's installation. Once you have that installed, I will place some double-sided tape along the snap tab. So you can go ahead and remove the paper backing on all of your double-sided tape. And then you'll stitch this down at an eighth of an inch seam allowance around all the edges. I will have to change to my zipper clip for that, so I'll do that now. Once you have that all stitched together, I'll go ahead and trim this all down so both pieces are the same size. Once you have everything trimmed down, I'm just going to go through and melt the edges quickly um, just to get any fuzzies off of my vinyl. And then I will go ahead and give it a coat of, um, I'll give it some edge coat to seal up the ends. Now that that's drying, I will go ahead and work on my zipper. So I already have, um, for my lining, I'm using heat transfer vinyl. So I've already applied that. And then what I will do now is put some double-sided tape along both long edges of my zipper opening. Once you have that, you can install your zipper. And then you can remove the paper backing from one piece of the double-sided tape. And for me, I want my zipper closing to the left, um, or in this case, it'll be closing up. So I'm placing it on here, centering it as best I can. Okay, once you have the top one on, you can remove the backing from the bottom one. And now I am gonna leave my zipper pull out here for now. I'm gonna start right along here, go all the way down around, and stop when I get to right about here, pull my zipper pull in, and then I'll finish up my top stitching. <clears throat> I have a bigger zipper pull, so I'm going to give myself a little extra room. And pull my zipper through now and bring it all the way to the other end. And then you can finish closing up your zipper. Then 
then you can go ahead and trim your zipper down. And I will also melt the end of my zipper just to make sure it doesn't fray. Now you can place um, some eighth inch wide double-sided tape around half of the inside. You don't have to go all the way around because we're going to stick it to the other half. Okay. I'm going to next install my bag tag. I'm just going to crease it slightly in the center. Mark the center of my bag tag very gently. Do not fold where it is printed. If your tags are printed like mine, it will crack your printing. You will be very sad. I will be sad for you. You can place some double-sided tape on the back of it so I can help hold it in place while we sew it down. I made a small mark with my um, silver marking pen that does come off on the center of my bag. And then I'm going to line this up with it, making sure it's centered as possible and as straight as possible. Okay. I just like to check it before I stitch it down. Once you have that done, you can remove the paper backing on the double-sided tape, and you can go ahead and carefully line up all of your edges. And I'll just place some clips around it just to hold everything together. And your zipper pocket is pretty much done. So we'll set this to the side and then we'll work on our card slots next. You have six slots. So on the back side, I will be placing a piece of double-sided tape underneath each slot that's approximately two inches wide. You'll also place a piece that is a half inch up from this top line, as well as a half inch up from the bottom. And then you'll cut a few more pieces of two inch double-sided tape just to have ready to go. I'm just gonna stick, th stick those on the side of my table for now. Then I will get my landscaping material that I will be using for my card slots. Starting with your bottom card slot slit, Go ahead and remove the paper backing from the double side and place your piece of landscaping fabric down on that double sided tape. And right now it should be nice and straight and facing out towards the top. Then you'll flip it right side over, making sure not to twist your fabric and top stitch directly under that first slit. Go ahead and flip it back over. Now you'll remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape at the very bottom. Fold this down, making sure that it's nice and flat. Don't tug too hard because then it will distort the front. And then you can take the paper backing off of the next slit, bring your fabric back up, and you will flip it over and top stitch again, making sure that you don't twist up your fabric. And this will be under the second card slot slit. Now you will flip this back over again. And from the fold that you just created down here, you'll measure one half of an inch up and then place one of your pieces of double-sided tape. Go ahead and remove the paper and bring this back down, press. Remove the paper from the next card slot up and we'll flip it over and top stitch along the next slot. And we're going to repeat that for the remaining three card slots.
when you get to the final card slot, you'll just remove the paper backing from the piece of tape that we put up here at the top, and then you will trim back your excess fabric. And this is what you should have right now. You can go ahead and test out your card slots, make sure that everything works like you expect it to, make sure none of your cards are falling down, that you didn't mismeasure anywhere, and these all look great. So now I'm gonna install the other half of my snap. And you can do this before card slots. I find it easier to do it after just so it's not in the way of my card slots. So I will place the prong in through here and poke it through the hole that I've already cut and then place this on top and set this. Once you have your snap installed, you can once again place some more double-sided tape around half of your card slots. And you don't have to do this. You can just clip it. You could also glue it. I wouldn't pin it since this is all vinyl. Okay, you can remove the paper backing on all of your double-sided tape and carefully fold this all in half, matching up all of your raw edges as you go. And then you can go ahead and create your pocket, your slip pocket by top stitching down the folded edge here of your card slots. So now this should be your outside and this will be the other side. Technically, they're both outside, but this should be your front and this will be your back. Once your snap tab is dry, you can go ahead and grab that. And I like to place a piece of double-sided tape along the top of my snap tab on the side that has the snap installed on it. And now we are going to add everything together with some clips, making sure that you're lining up your edges as best you can. Again, we can always go around and trim things that don't quite fit at the end. Um, the one part you want to take care to definitely match up is right here where your snap tab is going to be because you will not be able to trim that afterwards without also trimming off your snap tab. Ask me how I know. See how mine isn't lining up quite right here? That's okay. Um, I have no idea why. But that's okay. We can go through and just try to adjust it a little bit if possible. If not, then we'll just trim it off at the end, as long as it's not on the edge where the snap tab is coming out of. And it's not. So, okay. Now you can place your snap tab on, and I will remove my double sided tape. And between the card slots is where I will slide my snap tab. You just want to be sure that it's straight and that it's not too tight as well. Once you're happy with its placement, go ahead and unsnap it and pull it all the way up so it should be facing up. Clip it well around the snap tab and then we will go ahead and sew it an eighth of an inch seam allowance all the way around the outside of the wallet.
and your snap tab should fit snugly. And now is where I'm going to go back and trim this down. So I'm gonna trim that and I'll be right back. Once you have everything straightened up, your purse pail is complete. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like and subscribe.